Hello everyone. Good evening. We will start our session in another five minutes. Hello, Prabhu. Able to hear me? Uh, okay, whoever uh, didn't join the class, uh, see the recording link has been shared. Please make a note of that uh, re recording link and uh, you can see the re extra days recording. Okay. Okay, we will start our session. I'm going to share my uh, screen. Let me know you, you guys are able to see my screen or not. Able to see my screen? Uh, anyone please respond able to see my screen yes okay thank you so yesterday what we have discussed is what is orcalabs okay in that orcalabs what are the different types of modules are there and what are the components in the orcalabs these are the rice components which are very very important in orcalabs technical in order to learn orcalabs technical We've, uh, the prerequisite is SQL and PLSQL 
and uh, how we will be able to know the version of the oracle apps means we need to go to we need to log into oracle application then after opening the form we need to go to help and about oracle applications if you click on help and uh, about oracle applications then we are able to see we will be able to see the version of the oracle application okay so when you log in into the oracle applications we can see the list of a uh, list of responsibilities and under the responsibility we will have a menu under the menu we will have functions or forms okay the default username and password for the oracle application is operations and welcome okay next so today we will start with the file structure of the oracle application So today we are going to learn file structure of the Oracle application. Okay, in the Oracle application, for suppose why we are discussing about this file structure because for suppose in the rice components when it comes to reports. Okay, for example, we are developing a report. Okay, whatever the report we have developed, that we will save it in .rdf file. Okay, with the extension .rdf. Okay, whatever we have developed, report we have developed, that. we have developed in our local machine so that uh, rdf file we need to place it in a server then only the oracle application read that server read that uh, file which is there in the server then it will show the output so that's why we need to know about this file structure by this we can know that where we need to place our file okay in uh, uh, all the files we cannot place in a particular place for every file or else for every development if you uh, create a report then we need to place in a particular uh, particular location okay then if you if you develop a form then we need to place in a particular location in a server so each file each development will be placed in a different different locations so in order to know in which place we need to place our report or our form or a workflow in that's why we are learning this file structure of the oracle applications let's start our oracle application first just <clears throat> a minute these are all the module specific top under the app inventory top gl top like this so many module specific tops will be there as i has said in the oracle applications we have 250 plus modules will be there so like this under the application top we will have all the module specific tops like 250 plus 250 plus module specific top will, tops will be there under the application top so under the application top we will have a version under the module specific top we will have a version okay whatever the version we are using okay yesterday we have seen it right 12 point which version see yesterday we have seen it right this is the version 
12.2.10 okay under the module specific top we will have a version top next under the version top we will have object specific top i will explain you this don't worry object specific top is nothing but forms reports okay all these will comes under object specific top by seeing this we can understand where we need to place the forms or reports or, or whatever we are developing where we need to place in the server that location we will be able to understand using this file structure okay so and reports sql out bin admin okay under this object specific top we will have a language specific top for only for forms and reports object specific top will be there for only forms and reports this will not be there under the us only the forms and reports will be in the objects i mean um, us specific top okay language specific top okay for the forms the extension for the form is the extension for the forms is dot fmx the extension for the reports is dot rdf next the extension for the sql is sorry dot sql the extension for the output out is dot out like this different different object specific tops object specific tops will have a extension okay so for the bin exe comma ctl and for the admin is dpa okay so this is the file structure of the oracle application so first we will have a application top okay under the application to top we'll have custom tops i mean uh, custom module specific tops okay under application top we will have a I'm, i will explain this whole structure no worries just i'm um, mentioning the arrows let me draw this so that i can explain it clearly
okay so this is the file structure okay this is the file structure of the oracle applications okay in the oracle application file structure start with a application top okay the stop the top directory is application top under the application top we will have a module specific top that is in oracle applications we will have a modules right so like that's why we in the under the application top we will have a module specific top we will have ap inventory gl po and all all the other modules tops will be there under the application top what is this custom top means whatever the custom development we are doing those custom development reports or forms will be placed under the a uh, custom top okay under the custom top we will have a version okay under the cust under the module specific top we will have a version and under the version we are having these object specific tops objects are nothing but whatever we are developing those are all called as objects objects okay so when we develop a form when we develop a form we will need to place under the application top module specific top and under the version and under the forms we are going to place that form which we have developed next under the version top we will have forms reports sql out bin and admin and when it comes to forms and reports we are we will be going we are going to place these forms and reports under language specific top that is us okay so for forms and reports we are going to place our forms and reports under the language specific tops other sql out bin and admin these for these object specific tops we are directly going go and uh, place it in this tops only but when it comes to forms and reports we need to place it in the your specific tops okay so what is the extension for the forms is dot fmx what is the extension for the rdf reports is dot rtf next sql is dot sql and out is dot out then bin is exe ctl control uh, control file we are going to learn about this control file okay this admin belongs to dba team okay so whatever the dba team are doing those files will be get placed in this admin object folder okay so this is the file structure first application top module specific top under the module specific top we will have a version under the version we are having a object specific tops under the object specific particularly for the forms and reports we are going to place it in a language specific top under the language specific top we are going to place our forms next for other other than this forms and reports we will place it in sql out bin and admin object specific tops only okay so this is the file structure so how we will be able to see that file structure means i am opening this winsap let me check mm -hmm. in this documents in this uh, file structure this top is nothing but a directory okay the folder which is there in the server is called as a top okay the folder which is there in the server for suppose i know we are opening this server in sap right you can understand yes see these are all the tops are considered as a top okay so when we are discussing we first we are, we need to start with application top right so i am going to that application top <laughs> let me open first <laughs> Mm 
why it is not showing this might have changed or what yes okay so first this in this file structure this starts with application top right see this is the application top appl this is the application top under the application top we are having a module specific top when we click when i click on the application top we are having a module specific top this is uh, we will we can see ap see we can see ap ar okay if you want to see ff that is fixed assets this is fixed assets okay whatever we have discussed all those modules uh, will be there under this application top so under the application top these are all the modules are there that is module specific top is there for suppose i want to open ap top okay this is ap module top okay under the ap module top we will have a version under the application top we are having a module specific top see application and this is a module that is ap module next under the module we will have a version okay under the module we will have a version this is 12 point next under the version we are having in object specific top what are all there forms reports sql out bin these are all the things are there right see forms reports sql okay the different different uh, object specific tops will, will be there under the version for suppose if you open forms okay so as i said for forms we will have a language specific top that is us okay see when i open forms i am able to see language specific top when i open this mass, uh, language specific top then we can see whatever the forms are developed those are all the forms will be the form files will be there under the us folder see these are all the forms dot fmx files are there under the forms us language okay next for suppose i am opening reports okay and for under the reports also we are having a language specific top that is us okay see all the rdf files are there under the us language okay so next but when it comes to sql okay as i said for the forms and reports only we are having a language specific top but other uh, objects we will not have a language specific top see for suppose i am opening sql okay see directly we are able to see the sql files we didn't find any language specific top okay directly it is opening the language files next if you open bin see all the control files are there in the bin folder okay next out see all the csv files are there in the out folder so for the form, particularly for the forms and reports we are having a language specific top so the interview question uh, they will raise that is where you place the reports means custom top okay generally if you work in a company generally whatever we are whatever the new development is there that we are going to place it in a custom top only but we cannot place it in a module specific tops okay we will going to place it in a for suppose these are ap ar these are all the uh, modules for the in the oracle application this custom top is like see these are all modules but this is not a module this is a custom top whatever the custom development uh, we are doing those file those will be get placed in a custom top only so we cannot we will not have an access to place our custom development in a other modules okay ap module and ar module because in ap ar modules we will have a standard whatever the standard development is there all those will be there under the ap module so whatever the custom things we are doing we need to place it in a custom top but when it comes to our classes we don't have a custom top okay we are going to directly we are, we are having an access to place it in this uh, module specific top that is aap ar and module 
those will be there so we can directly place it over there but in the generally uh, in the real time we are we will we need to place it in a custom top instead of ap we will have for suppose that belongs to xx something okay one company xx something one company so in that instead of this ap we will have the custom top so we will open that custom top and we are going to place that custom top development things we need to place it over there okay so what is the interview question what i have said if you where you need where will you, where we will place the reports means custom top reports or uh, custom top reports folder us language okay custom top reports folder us language we need to mention like this custom top okay version no need custom top reports folder us language okay under this we are going to place it when it comes to forms also where you need to play where where we will place the forms means we need to say custom top forms folder us language okay so like this we need to answer this is the one this is one interview question okay understood hello Hello. Okay. So this is our file structure, and we can be able to see this file structure in the WinSCP. This is the in the WinSCP is it is the server which where we are going to place our all the development uh, files in this server and. how we will place means see this uh, this is there we need to press f uh, click on f5 and then uh, then we can do the drag and drop also okay whatever the um, i mean local files will be there in the left side and whatever the development will be there in the right side okay for suppose i am opening this forms okay this is these are all we are placed it from the local local things see for suppose i am op i will open Here is the stop. The stop. <laughs> Now you cannot understand why if you see reports. see these are all the reports we have developed okay whatever the reports we have developed we need to place it in a reports us folder okay what we need to do means just we need to drag and drop it here okay we need to click on copy if it is already there it will ask for copy if not it will directly place that or else we can click on this f i f5 function okay then it will ask for copy then click on enter yes that's it okay so we are we need to place the folder okay whatever the development we have developed okay that rdf file we need to place it in the server after placing it into the server then we can go to the oracle application and we can create an executable concurrent program and all those things we are going to learn so we will do all those things but whatever we have developed first we need to place it in the server okay so for each thing we will have okay up to here it might may change between the uh, from the function uh, i mean company to company but this is same first so this might change up to here but after this one it will start with application top this is common for everything every company okay so this might change but from the application top it will be same application top module specific top version next forms language these are all the forms next reports us these are all the reports and sql out means csp 
bin means control files will be there so like this this is the file structure okay using this file structure directly we can go to the win recipe and we can check all this okay so i may i will mention everything in the notepad first root root directly directory is called application top okay under application top we have module specific top that is ap top ar top inventory top gl top and so on okay these are all the examples under the application top we will have a module specific top right so these are all the different types of module specific top under the application top next under the module specific top we are having a version okay we are having a version that that signifies the version of the oracle application under version we are having a language sorry object specific top those are forms reports sql out bin and so on okay these are all the different uh, object specific tops under the object specific top we are having a language specific top that is us language specific directory this might change between country to country but because it might uh, for suppose this oracle application can be installed in any language like france us spanish chinese okay this this can be installed in any language okay when you install the oracle apps in english then the all folders will be in us language okay for suppose if you install it in france means frf like that so it might change between the uh in in which type in which language we have installed the oracle application based on that this language might change okay so in the uh, generally in india we will install the oracle application in us language so in the india it will be us only okay so the language specific top for the india is us okay it might change between france us spanish based on that it will this this language specific directly we might change okay so language uh, language specific top is only for forms and reports okay this language specific top note i will mention it here language specific top is only for forms and reports and uh, in the oracle applications uh, the front end will be developed in two ways that is using the form builder okay uh, the form uh, will be different but when it comes to and the, uh, the like front end we can uh, also develop in, in a j developer also okay so that page will be different and this forms page will be uh, forms will be different the look and feel is different but you can you can in the both the ways you can develop the um, oracle application okay so for suppose when i am opening this oracle application <coughs> i'm logging in logging in with operations and welcome this is a default username and password for the oracle application so when i am opening uh, opening the oracle application we are having a list of responsibilities under the list of responsibilities we are as i said we are having a menu under the menu we are having a forms right so when i am opening one particular form the look and feel will be like this
okay the look and feel will be like this but we will create pages in the oracle application the look and feel will be different mm. see this is a form okay this is a form the look and feel will be like this for suppose if you want to open like this this is a form right so when when it has been developed in the jr developer the look and feel will be like this this is a page okay this is a form so we can develop the oracle application in two ways that is you can use you can develop using the form builder and you can you develop it using the j developer so if you develop in the j developer it will be a page and when it comes to when we uh, develop a forms in the form builder the look and feel will be like this okay this is a page we can understand that this has this page has been developed by the j developer okay so if you want to write a query we will use this sql developer okay this sql developer is uh, for the database purpose whatever the data has been uh, created in the oracle application that data we can see using this sql developer and also we will have a toad okay uh, and sql plus so these are all the uh, uh, these are all the client machines these are all the client machines we can able to see the database details for suppose if you want if you have created the invoice means what we can what we can do we need to log into the uh, uh, sql developer with the username and password that is apps apps because we are uh, we are under the apps module so this one we can understand tomorrow what is apps and all so under we need we need to log in with username and password that is apps and apps and the after login into the uh, sql developer then if you check for the table then you can okay you can join uh, sorry so when you open this oracle application sorry sql developer when you check for the table then you can see the data which has which has which we, which are created in the oracle application for suppose if you have created the in, uh, invoice in the oracle application that invoice number is uh, something like this one only okay this one we have created in the oracle application whatever the invoice we have created then what we will do where invoice number is this one so this this invoice i have created and whatever the details we have entered that details we can see it in the from the back end also see this whatever uh, wo this for this invoice number the invoice id has been created so for this invoice number while we are creating we will give a supplier okay so what is the vendor id so using this vendor id generally what we will do we after knowing the vendor id then after that this vendor id means supplier id so the supplier details will be there in the suppliers table okay like this we will open this supplier table okay so there we have already noticed that the vendor id is 4 so what we will do here we will give the vendor id okay because we know from this table for this invoice number who is a supplier means it didn't directly give the name of that supplier it has given me it give it has mentioned the vendor id or a supplier id in the invoice in the ap invoices table so using that vendor id i want to know who is the vendor name so in that case what we need to do we need to check this vendor table that is ap suppliers and we need to check this vendor when we need to check for this vendor id so when you check for this vendor id you will be able to see the vendor name okay like this every information cannot be there in a one particular table okay every information can be there in a different different uh, tables okay for suppose invoice details will be there in <clears throat> for suppose just if we create a invoice in the that invoice details also will not will not be there in a particular table for suppose line information will be there in a different table okay 
and uh, when we created the data definition and uh, sorry when we create the uh, for suppose if you create a purchase order that will be there in a different table okay pivo orders table and uh, if you create a supplier that will be there in ap suppliers if you create a customer ar customer so the so whatever information we are creating that information get get can be stored in different different tables but for suppose this is a ap module when we create an invoice that that invoice comes under the ap module so in that case what will happen means that information will be there in ap module so that's why this ap module will be present in the starting okay because this invoice belongs to ap module so that's why by this we can uh, able to know that this invoice belongs to ap module okay for suppose pivo <laughs> why it is not showing why it is not there <laughs> see so whatever the in this ar this cash receipts will be we will create the receipts so the whatever the receipts we are creating that receipts will will comes under the ar module so that's why whatever the for suppose if you create a invoice it is showing that ap and if you create a customer or if you create a receipts that will be comes under the ar module so that's why by seeing this we can understand that this is a ar module and this is a ap module so each information which we are creating that will be get stored in a different different table okay when we are writing a query for if in order to create a report we need to first we need to check the table then see for suppose invoice okay here we have created one invoice then what we need to do help record history if you click on for suppose if you create a invoice here then we when we click on help and record history when then we, we will be able to know the table of that this form okay if you want to know the table of this form then we need to click on help and record history but when and also we need, we can come to lines okay we can come to lines and then if if you want to know the table of this lines table then also we need to go to lines and we need to place our cursor then we need to go to help and record history so if you click on help and record history we will be able to name uh, know the table name of that particular form for all the forms we cannot see the table names but most of the forms we will have a table names when we click on help and record history okay so in order to know the version we need to click on help and about oracle applications in order to know the table of this particular form we need to know we need to click on help and record history okay please make a note of this because uh, if uh, most of the people may don't know or else we can we will be we can forget and we are we need to check in the google what is the table for this when we create the invoice details in which table we are storing it instead we can <coughs> easily we will be able to know the table name of this particular form by using this help and record history i will mention in this notepad also
हेल्प एंड रिकॉर्ड हिस्ट्री This is a one more table. Okay, when we create a purchase order, why there is no data? So this there is no data is it is not showing. I will check that. But this is uh, this PO head does whatever the purchase orders we will create in the Oracle application. That purchase order details will be there in this module that is PO. Okay, so it is mentioning that it is showing the PO head does PO head does PO lines. Okay, PO lines information there in the PO uh, PO lines table and AP uh, lines information will be there in the AP invoice lines all table. Okay, like this every information. Will be there in different different modules based on on that modules in the tables. So we can see that if it is a AP module in here first it will start with AP. If it is a AR module it will start with AR and if it is a PO it it will start with PO. Okay, so <coughs> so now what we have learned we have learned the file structure of the Oracle applications and we are able to know the table name in the oracle applications okay so after develop after creating the report builder okay after creating the report builder what we need to do what is the process generally okay first i'm just in order to understand this file structure i am saying so first we have to why i am trying to develop a report okay that report is like i want to get the invoice number invoice date mm, invoice amount okay these three in these three information i want to for this you know in order to know this information i want to create a report okay so for developing this report first what we need to do we need to know this invoice details will be there in which table so i have already know that invoice details will be there in the table that is ap invoices all table okay so what i'll do i will write a query that select start from ap invoices all okay so if i check this table i will be able to find this invoice number invoice date and invoice amount so what i'll do i will mention all these columns here okay so now our query is ready okay we have searched the columns from this ap invoices all table okay so these are all the col uh, columns there in the ap invoices all table so i have present it here next this is done after that we have developed an rdf using the report builder okay after creating the rdf what we will do we will place we will what is the extension for the rdf that is dot rdf file so we have saved it with the okay save the rdf with extension dot rdf so up to this step it is fine now we have learned about this file structure so that's why what we need to do we need to place this rdf in the this is first it is in local machine okay it is there in local machine so what we need to do we need to move it to win sap that is a server okay so what we need to do first we need to go to which stop first we uh, first we need to go to which stop Sumit. Yeah. Sumit, uh, hi. Application top then from top. Yeah, hi. <coughs> yeah. Where Hello, we will place? Amir. Yes, yes. You are audible. And where we where we will place this RDF based on this uh, file structure? 
uh, application top, uh, then custom top, then the version top, and after that the reports for report no, no, folder no, no. and then US. Sumit, yeah, Sumit, go slowly. Okay, first which top? Uh, application application top. top. Next. Custom top. Yeah, custom top generally. Okay. Next. Uh, the version top, whatever the or version yes. uh, according to that. Yeah. Yes. Next. Then the reports. Next. US. Yes. Next. Uh, Not RDF file. Keep our RDF file there. Yeah. Yes. So now because of learning this file structure, what you are, what we have understood, we have and un we understood whatever the RDF file we have developed, that RDF file we need to place in this path, right? Same like this, if you, for suppose you have developed a .fmx file. Okay, this is a different one. Uh, first, uh, we will place, I mean, um, uh, okay, this is fine. Okay, when we are discussing about the forms, I can discuss it. But generally, for the forms also, what we will do, we will go to application top. Next, custom top. 12.0 version. Okay, forms. Yes. Dot FMX. Okay. Like this, if you develop a report and also we need to. So now we have understood what. Uh, so whatever we have developed, where we need to place it in the server. Okay, if you place it in some other folder. Okay, if you place this report in a forms folder. Okay, if you place this forms in a reports folder. When we create a concurrent program in the Oracle application that then it cannot read this form or it cannot read this report from the Oracle application. Now, in the WinSAP, whatever we have placed it in the WinSAP, that it cannot read it from the Oracle application. So that's why we need to place it in a correct path or as the correct directory or a correct top. Okay, whatever we have developed, we need to place it in a correct file or directory or a top. Okay, so this is the importance of this file structure. Understood, right? File structure of the Oracle applications. If anyone is having doubt, please let me know. Uh, no one is having doubt. Yeah, yeah. I, I have one thing. The, the uh, page development uh, using the J developer is also will gonna learn learn in this. Uh, no, that is a different no. Uh, one. Oh, no, no, that is a different thing, actually. Okay, okay. So we're going to learn only the this thing. Uh, form builder, Oracle application. Uh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. forms. Yes, yes. Okay. So I will mention some more things here. Okay, whatever the new developments are there, we need to place it in the custom top. All the custom files <laughs> created by the developer 
should be placed in custom top. For suppose if you create the about invoice RDF play it in AP custom tool. So if you create the invoice RDF, this is this comes under the AP module, but if it is a new development, then we need to place in the custom top only. Okay, this is a custom report, so that's why we need to place in a custom top for suppose if you create a uh, transaction rdf that is comes under that will comes under ar ar module so this belongs to ar module but we need to place it in a this is a custom report we need to place it in a custom top only okay <coughs> But generally, in this classes, we are going to place it in a, uh, if it is belongs to AP, we are going to place it in AP module here and we are going to place it in AR module. But generally, in the real time, we don't have an access for these modules. All the custom development which we are developing, we need to place it in a custom top only. Okay. So, in this case, for suppose, uh, when we are placing this invoice dot RDF in the custom top, we will not be, we will we will be not in a position to understand. But suppose I can give this dot RDF name with the transaction dot RDF also. That is my wish. So when we by seeing this name, we cannot understand this is this RDF belongs to AP module, or else if by seeing this transaction, we cannot understand that this uh, this report belongs to this module. So how we can understand? The, uh, the this belong this report belongs to which module means we will have a report registration steps okay so in using this report registration steps we can identify the report belongs to which module okay in this we for for suppose if you uh, go to the you know, for suppose we are placing the invoice dot rdf in the custom top okay while registering this report in the oracle application then what we will do means we will give the application as ap okay if you place this transaction dot it uh, rdf in the oracle application then what we will do we will give the application as ar module so by using this registration steps when we are registration we reg registering the report in the oracle application with that with that help of, of with that help of registration steps we were we are going to understand okay this invoice that rdf belongs to ap module and this transaction of rdf belongs to the ar module so when we say when we check in the win sap we cannot understand and because we are placing it we are placing it in the custom top only after register after registering it in the oracle application then only you can understand that this mod this module this invoice or this report belongs to this ap module this report belongs to ar module like that okay so this is very important we cannot and we are we need to place it in the custom top only okay generally in the real time we need to place it in the custom top how we will be able to know this uh, belong, this report belongs to which module means using the report registration steps okay understood right um. <coughs> hello yes yes yeah understood okay Anyone is having doubts, please let me know. Hi, Manasa. I think you have joined today, right? Shankar, uh, you have mentioned no, ma'am, right? What you didn't understand? Could you please mention in the chat? I think I have enabled you to talk. Shankar, could you please respond?
you are not able to speak हाँ ये डॉगी अबे अबे की वेल आपका प्रिपार आ गया है हेलो वो तीन और मत अच्छी वादन हो गए मत अच्छी वादन See, uh, Edoye, I think you have, yesterday you asked me, right? Uh, only as a, only Edoye is having dots, others uh, you can drop from the call. <laughs> See, I have, uh, we have pinged you the link in order to join the WhatsApp group if you want. And if you want to listen to the recordings, so this is the recording link. <laughs> see, this is a day one recording link. So you can uh, click on this link and you can uh, see the yesterday's recording. And Sundar, if you have any doubts, please ask me. If not, you can drop from the call. No, ma'am. Okay, fine. You can drop, uh, drop from the call if you want. <clears throat> 